You are the only continent in the entire world where someone can't call themselves African based on the color of their skin. Hey bestie, have you considered leaving? It is not a matter of black and white, my friend. You really do not understand. Why? We are not Africans from Africa. We are white people, the descendants of the British and and the Irish and, and the French people and the Dutch people. Mm. We are from Europe. We know that's the problem. You know, it's very interesting how white South Africans come on line fighting with Africans, talking about how they are Africans by fire, by force, so they must be accepted and recognized as Africans by actual indigenous Africans, whether these actual indigenous Africans want to refer to them as Africans or not, whether we see them as African Africans or not. Hey, I was born here just like you. Don't come at me like that. Let me just live my life, okay? I'm African. <laughs> so, yeah. That happens. But we will not go agree. This is literally indigenous erasure going on here. These people are trying to weasel their way into the identity African, trying to blur the lines as they go. But we not go agree. Like, you guys are descendants of colonizers from Europe. You guys are bloody Europeans. I know now that you guys are ashamed of your history, of your colonial past. You want to disassociate yourselves from your continent, from your homeland. But no, that's, that's where you are from. That's what your DNA says. That's what your ancestry says. That's what your history says. But since they don't like hearing us call this spade the spade that it is, they are behind, start to age, and all of a sudden they start acting dumb, like they don't know the difference between nationality and ethnicity. But since I exist, and other Africans just like me who don't care about their feelings exist, for as long as we live, we would continue to remind these people that they are not from here. If they like, make them very so, na them succor, who not like the reminder can go and hug the nearest transformer. But in today's video, I thought we should take a different approach to things and let them them tell it instead. We are the only continent in the entire world where someone can't call themselves African. Yeah, Africa's allowed to decide what it calls its colonizers. It's allowed that. It wasn't Africans who said that the European colonizers can't be African. In actual fact, it was the European colonizers who drove the point home again and again and again and again, over and over again, that they were not African. Because to be African was to be considered less than because those were the rules of the time. Those were the rules they made. And so it stands. You know, Africa recognized it. I don't know why you're taking issue with Africa. It's not Africa's fault. It's Europe. Now, I also take issue with you wanting to pretend, you know, you're like, oh, I'm a democracy baby. You know, I wasn't born during apartheid. I wasn't there. It has nothing to do with me. You're my generation. Um, so just frankly, that's bull because I know that your dad and my dad were in the army because if they weren't, they would have served jail time. Um, and you wouldn't look so nearly well cared for if your daddy was in jail. So, um, our dads were in the army. Um, and I don't know if your dad speaks about what he was made to do in the army, but mine sometimes does when he was drunk. And I'm here to tell you that we are very much a part of it because one generation is not that far away. Are we going to pretend that when apartheid ended, black people could suddenly get equity for loans and credit and things like that so that they had the same financial standing as white South Africans because it's 30 years later and that still hasn't happened? I mean, it's happening, but... It should have happened. So in this video, we see the leader of the Boer set the record straight, talking about how they are not from Africa. I mean, we Africans already knew this, but, you know, he said it loud enough so even those of them in the back who now in 2023 seem to be confused would be able to hear him. And he also said some other very interesting things as well in this video. It's an interesting watch. So without further ado, let's dive right into the video. Yeah. But you can have Johannesburg. Is that Johannesburg? Yeah. Okay, I give it to you tonight. Really? You can have him. 
Because, I, I mean, I, I don't claim any part of South well, Africa, personally. I am not claiming Johannesburg. OK. Why not? I'm, because Johannesburg is, is, a, a, is a place where the war started. Uh, there are a majority of black people and people from foreign countries. They can have it worth love from me. OK. Just look at how this man portioned out South Africa, picking and choosing where is for him and where is not for him. South Africa is not even his homeland. Like the clear audacity on a map with a marker portioning out South Africa like that, picking and choosing where he wants and where he doesn't want. Like South Africa is his birthright, like it's his personal property, like it's his inheritance or something. It never ceases to amaze me how there is a bunch of Europeans on this continent who are only here no thanks to their colonial history. And these people don't like black people, they don't like Africans. They have the options to up and leave and go back to Europe, their homeland, where they can be around the people that they like, that look just like them, but still refuse to leave. Like, why can't these people just leave and go back to Europe? These people have a white-only town in South Africa. In Africa, there is a white-only town. It's called Orania. These people don't like black people, they don't like Africans, they don't want to be around us. But why can't they just up and leave and go back to Europe where they can be with their fellow pasty whites all day? Like I promise, none of us is going to hold them back from leaving. We cannot wait to bid them adieu. So why are they not leaving, man? So It can be a state in a state. So what does that leave? Say again. What does that leave? That leaves this area here. Oh, that is the two republics of the Transvaal yeah. and the Orange Free State. I'll write it in Afrikaans Free Start. Now, my friend, we can start to talk culture. Just to make it a little easier to understand, I brought a um, I brought a small chart. A lot of these qualities are in. Uh, Black people and coloured people too. Can a non-white person be a boor? Never. 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 He can never be a boor. What about if he has all these qualities? Christian, God-fearing, accepts the elements, weather, toughness, pride, patriotism, sense of history, speaks Afrikaans, and he just happens not to be white. It is not a matter of black and white, my friend. You really do not understand. Why? We are not Africans from Africa. We are white people, the descendants of the British and, and the Irish and, and the French people and the Dutch people. Mm. We are from Europe. She on a do year I'm now. She on a do year I'm now. It's not a matter of black and white. It's a matter of ancestry. They are not indigenous to this continent. They have no DNA tie, ancestry tie to this continent. They are indigenous and have ties to Europe. That's where they are from. You don't want me to rule those two Boer republics as the sole property of the Boer people. Look, can can I make a no, distinction? No, 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 no. Mean, no you no. ask me the question okay. and I answer it. No, definitely no. My task is to defend my people against the ideas to destroy my people. Not him playing victim. Like, you can't make this ish up. Not the group of people who left their home in Europe, came down to the continent to destroy the indigenous people on this continent, talking about, I will defend my people against the ideas to destroy my people. Like, what are you talking about? Like, listening to this man speak, if you don't know the history of South Africa, you would think it's the black people that came into South Africa to give them problem and not the other way around. Like, what? Thanks for cl clearing that up. If I could recap, Christian God-fearing, accepts the elements, the weather, toughness, pride, patriotism of being a Boer, sense of history, Boer history. Ideally, should speak Afrikaans, not You work very hard to come to the last point. Yes. Must be white. Must yes. be white. If we allow black people or non-white people to become Boer people, then it will be the end of the existence of the Boer people. Very interesting, and I feel the same way about white people becoming African. I mean, he has stated that white people are not African, they are Europeans from Europe, right? Well, with the present day white people we are seeing daily wanting to force 
us to accept them as African. This is exactly how I feel about them being African. If we let these people be Africans, that would be the end of actual Africans, literally. Because first of all, we haven't seen some of them starting this theory about how um, white people are actually the indigenous of Africa and we, the indigenous of the continent, are invaders. I made a video on this a couple of months ago. It's quite a propaganda they are starting already with this conspiracy theory here. It was quite an interesting watch. It's linked down below in the description. You should check it out if you haven't already. So imagine if they are already cooking up lies like this, meaning they are already setting the foundation to lay claim to this continent. So accepting these people as African is going to be a very big mistake on our part, not only because one, they are not African, so they cannot be African, um, but two, because then we are setting up official Africans for failure. And let's not forget the descendants of the continents in the diaspora. We would be setting them up for failure as well. Because us accepting white people to be African would be us blurring the lines between who is and who isn't actually African. Then in the future, who knows what's going to happen? Like I said earlier, they're already laying the foundation to lay claim to this continent, talking about how they are the true indigenous to the continent. So who knows what's going to pan out in the future with these foundations and how it's going to play out for actual Africans. So we have to be very clear with these things and make sure that we are not participating in activities that would lead to our own erasure. This is why I would die on the white people are not and cannot be African hill. I would die on that hill screaming this. So yeah, I'm very much unapologetic about this. Africa is the only home we have. So we'll be damned if we'll be giving the key to our home and our identity to the bloody colonizers. Because we know how these people rule. History has shown us. You give them an inch, the next thing you know, they are taking the entire yard. And then they're coming into your home and kicking you out and telling you that your home is theirs. So I advise if we know what's good for us, we stay at a lot. Because in South Africa alone, we are only three and a half million against 40 million black people. This is an exciting new country, a democratic country. Exciting? Yes, yeah, South exciting. Africa. And well, it uh, seems uh, why, like... Why are you saying that? What is exciting? Exciting that the people who build the highways and the schools are not in the, in the government anymore. Is that exciting? The yeah, downfall, see, the downfall, like Mr. Of, Blanche, the like downfall of civilization is exciting Can we just... I beg, I'm not feel laugh. All I'm going to say to all he just said is, uh, you guys know that saying, um, to the oppressor, equality looks like oppression. Yeah, that's that's all I'm going to say. Oh, these people. You see them palm colored folks. Ah, no, they are tamper tantrums. These people are different, different. These people have a rare talent, a rare gift of being able to make themselves the victim when they have been the one victimizing people for 500 years. It's amazing how they do it. I don't know how they do it, but it's a rare talent. Only them can do this. Only them can, <laughs> can go take over a land that's not theirs, um, subjugate the people, enslave and colonize them in their own home. And then when things start to turn around and these people start to get their freedom, and you know they are liberating themselves and you know getting to their getting their power back and owning back their own home the colonizers will be there screaming you know now we are getting oppressed like like okay so these people should have stayed forever underneath your thumb that would have been fair that that's what to them would be the the, the right way for things to play out talking about the people who did this, the people who built the schools, the people who... Kini, you guys know you could have just stayed back in Europe and did all of these things in Europe, right? Like, nobody forced you people to come here to do whatever you guys thought you did here. No African asked you people or begged you people to come down here to do all of these things. You people could have stayed back in Europe and did them there. And let's not even talk about the fact that these things they always mention that they built. It's African people that built these things. African people were the laborers, the workers that built all of these things that they're talking about. And they did them for free because, you know, they weren't paying them. Abi, are we going to glide over the fact that South Africans were enslaved in South Africa? Very similar to white people in America talking about how they built this country. Like, chill, you guys sipped tea while enslaved Africans built America. Let's keep these things 100. Can we just lower the tone slightly? No, no, you are, you, are, you, are, you are having the interview with me. I'll choose 
the volume of the tone. Do you okay. understand me? Yes. OK, then you accept it. And if you don't want to have your interview, take your cameras and go at my OK, point. OK. Right. Understood. So, I, I'm not in court and you're not cross-questioning me, OK? No, I understand that. OK. No, I just... So don't, that... don't try to be cocky, my friend. I, I'm not trying to be cocky. Yeah. I'm really, I'm really trying to establish some kind of um, dialogue. You take another tone, my friend, and never have tell me. I must have reduced my volume. I'm a boor, and I don't need you or your publicity, my friend. Mm. All right? I think it's, um, it's obvious that we're not going to agree about everything. I would say, though, that um, uh, I, I sense that you uh, moderated somewhat in your, in your beliefs, because years ago it seemed as though you were talking about armed struggle and predicted a civil war. But I, I predicted that there will be a revolution between black nations in South Africa. And so what does the AWB, your organisation, do at that point? Oh, we will defend ourselves. We will not allow those forces to I mean, to do be, you sort of grab braced. your land then? Do you grab this area of the Transvaal and the Orange Ach, Free State? Listen, I am not grabbing anything. Hmm. I am entitled to my country. That's what I meant. I mean... And, no, sorry. no. You ask me what I will do, and then you, you decide to ask me if I will grab. Put off that camera, camera okay. on my phone. Can, can I just shake hands and say thank you very much? You have a firm handshake. We're supposed to. Oh, that's. that's what what am I? Why are you squeezing it so hard? Am I not a man? Yeah. Meaning? Meaning. Am I not a man? Is that Shakespeare? Whoa, the caucasity here. But, you know, at this point, we're used to it. I mean, what did Mango do? This interview, Asha, they're supposed to give him conk. <laughs> No better still, why Pamorai Mo called for neck? Because <laughs> he really was pissing the guy off, wasn't he? <laughs> oh, the way the you know leader of the board guy changed him for the interview at the end there really has me cackling. But anyways, guys, um let me know down below in the comment section what your thoughts are. Thank you very much for watching and of course I'll see you guys in the next one. We are the only continent in the entire world where someone can't call themselves African. Yeah, Africa's allowed to decide what it calls its colonizers. It's allowed that. It wasn't Africans who said that the European colonizers can't be African. In actual fact, it was the European colonizers who drove the point home again and again. And again, and again, over and over again, that they were not African. Because to be African was to be considered less than, because those were the rules of the time. Those were the rules they made. And so it stands. You know, Africa recognized it. I don't know why you're taking issue with Africa. It's not Africa's fault. It's Europe. Now, I also take issue with you wanting to pretend, you know, you're like, oh, I'm a democracy, baby. You know, I wasn't born during apartheid. I wasn't there. It has nothing to do with me. You're my generation. Um, so just frankly, that's bullshit because I know that your dad and my dad were in the army because if they weren't, they would have served jail time. Um, and you wouldn't look so nearly well cared for if your daddy was in jail. So, um... Our dads were in the army, um, and I don't know if your dad speaks about what he was made to do in the army, but mine sometimes does when he was drunk, and I'm here to tell you that we are very much a part of it, because one generation is not that far away. Are we going to pretend that when apartheid ended, black people could suddenly get equity for loans and credit and things like that, so that they had the same financial standing as white South Africans because it's 30 years later and that still hasn't happened. I mean, it's happening, but it should have happened. And lastly, you going on and on about how well you were raised. Did your mom not teach you that it's really, really bad manners to insert yourself into someone else's conversation? Okay. But not only did you rudely insert yourself into someone else's conversation, you offered an opinion that was unwarranted unasked for and frankly unnecessary that's pretty bad manners that's shocking shocking etiquette and um to then further that by demanding in return for your rudeness and entitlement that people show you kindness and respect and patience and offer you education because you're demanding education 
um there's some some audacity here really you you really have so much to learn and unlearn I only hear this comment from white people and it's white people like this who are so desperate to erase indigeneity from black African people. So answer me this commenter, if everyone is technically African because humankind originated in Africa, does that mean that everyone's technically a single-celled organism because everyone evolved from one? Because you certainly think like one when you make comments like this.